What's up, YouTube world? Time to peep sneaks. Uh, I got a rare pickup that I found a little while ago on Craigslist. I got the original 1973 release Waffle Trainer Moon Shoe, they originally called them. So let's check them out. There you go. Just focus in a little bit. Now these are rare. Fine. Couldn't believe that I found them. But because they did re-release these uh in the 90s, I think, early 2000s. I don't know if it's the same Oregon colorway. You can see how used they are. <laughs> I'll go through them more thoroughly in a second. But uh these were developed by the Olympic coach Bill Bowerman. Bowerman. Uh, designed him in like 1972. He's the co-founder of Nike. Besides what Phil Knight, and then uh, they're called waffle trainers because they use waffle irons. He did to develop the bottoms. You can see the little squares from like, the waffle iron, and he also called them moon shoes that I really didn't know because it's supposed to mark the footprint. The astronauts leave on the moon so I have another video of the Kobe 2's called moon shoes because they look like moon shoes but these are the original ones from 72 73 so let's take a quick look I got here I got the original Nike with the orange swoosh is that suede green suede this is from uh University of Oregon colorway. That's where he was coach for and Phil Knight You got the Nike swoosh looks like uh, Doesn't look like leather looks like Pleather <laughs> Different material and the nylon still there See the midsole is white You got the black Heel guard suede, nice suede too. Green, the Nike's still partially there. The medial side. You see how it's the aging of it. It's got a little bit of crumbling right there. Free from 1973, still pretty good shape. I don't know if I should clean them, try to clean them, or leave them. Let me know. Give me a thumbs up too if you like the video. Subscribe. But let me know if you guys think I should try to refurbish them or leave them as original. That nylon is really nice. I love the shoe strings. They're, I put these in to keep the structure of the shoe because it was collapsing a little bit. And you go inside. The inside looks like it has some nice leather. And the uh, insole, inner sock lining. Like some of these initials there. Yeah. <laughs> it's supposed to have, I think it's wore out like the t size it was printed on there. You can't see. Here too, it has uh, Nike sports shoes are manufactured to the exact specifications of champion athletes throughout the world. The Nike name and Swiss stripe are your guarantee of quality made in Japan. Awesome. I think it says something totally different now in the shoes. The remanufactured. The new ones that released. Let's see, this one has anything in. in your sock lining it's like just part leather right there on top you see that insole <laughs> how thin and blue it is that's original it's just somebody's initials in there usually the size and tags on the side i think these are size it could be wrong 11 10 or 11 but it must have been more out from them wearing it but look at the outsole is the awesome they, they make some Nike trainers out now with the waffle bottoms, but not exactly how curved out that small of a piece that is right there. Looks like a footprint, actually. It has a patent logo on here. It says U.S. Patent Number 379870. You can see that. So you get the little nipples from the waffle iron. Some are wore out, but you still can see some there.
Moon shoes. They're got a little weight to them. I don't know because of the age they made this pretty hard and dense. And that doesn't seem as flexible a little bit. <clears throat> but they're still pretty light. You can see how the tongue is. That's how they made them. I have some Nike Cortez that has they start making the tongues like that again. It's pretty cool. They look like vinyl, Nike Swish. Inner, medial side, and outside. Upper. But still pretty structurally sound. Just the only part that has a little crumbling on it. On these, see that. They're, they've been worn. Still pretty good condition to be from 1973 release. Even the Alto still has a lot of traction. It has some nipples on it. You can see there. This one too, right there in the mid part. You can see the nipples. Let's take a 360 look. These are awesome. Couldn't believe I found them on Craigslist. Some guy had them, older guy. We did a meet, meet, meet up at the mall. This one has a Nike that you can see a lot better. It's still there. Got that vinyl top. It's padded pretty nice right there too. The suede's really nice on it though. There you go. There you go. Got Nike on there. Awesome. Waffle trainer. Nike waffle trainers. Original for 1973. Alright, let me know what you guys think. Give me a thumbs up. Till the next. Peace.